Atari on. More than 40 years ago, Atari opened a portal into our living rooms with the Atari 2600. Now, we're ready to reopen that portal and introduce a brand new Atari product, inspired by the past, but created, designed, and engineered for today. Introducing the Atari VCS. The 2600 was just this meteor from another planet. It crashed here and kicked off the evolution of all gaming life as we know it. Not only was this sort of a video game console, but it was turning television into a more social activity. It was like we were transported into the future. Something magical happening on the TV for the first time. It is pretty exciting to see Atari kind of come back and take what they did well and reimagine that for this new generation that are playing games differently, consuming media differently, having different social experiences around this type of media. It's taking everything we loved about that first sort of simple retro Atari experience, the first time we used it, and bringing it into a modern context, which is a bit more complex. One of the unique things about the Atari VCS is its PC architecture and Linux operating system. You can play hundreds of classic Atari games on it, but there's more to it than that. Modern games will be there too, along with social media, streaming video, music, and so much more. Hey Atari, let's play Tempest 4000. Our mission was to create an iconic and authentic Atari product. One that's beautiful and evokes emotion, not just another box to shove under your TV. The 2600 offers this amazing palette of iconic details. You've got toggle switches and wood grain and fins and angles. We looked at taking each of those core components and evolving it for a next generation. It was something that feels like it felt and not trying to look how it looked then. So with the 2600, it was a box with ribbing on a surface. And we were looking at that detail and started talking about, well, what if the box was entirely ribs? It's not a box with applied ribs. It's actually constructed from individual fins and layers. We found a way to inlay a real natural wood product, and it's a beautiful finish, but it also becomes a really interactive part of the product. The interface shines through that material. We feel strongly that a product like this deserves a little more thought, a little more effort, and a little more heart by solving for design intent, manufacturability, thermals, design for assembly, all at the same time. One of the things that was exciting me the most about it was the controller. And to see sort of a reimagined yet more versatile version of the same thing that I grew up with in my hand was instantly the one thing that I was super happy with. We wanted to do something really special for our biggest Atari fans. We've created a special launch edition of the VCS, only available on Indiegogo. Atari has kind of transcended beyond even those who had a chance to play it. Everything that I've personally done in gaming past that point all trails back to those original roots. It's a refreshing breath of air to have the Atari brand come back to gaming.